Hello my schoolers, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra and in today's video we are going to be tackling the past question for the subject government year 2010. Please stay with us, don't go anywhere and we'll be right back. Welcome back. In today's section, we're going to be tackling the question from 21 to 46. So let's begin with question 21. So the Arab age grade system in Igbo land was Dash. Okay, A, a religious organization. Option B, a commercial organization. Option C, a political organization. Option D, an imperial organization. So the answer to this question is option C, a political organization. Now, the age grade is or has been the oldest institution in the Igbo political system, okay? So what are their roles? Okay, they promote the unity among members, they maintain the law and order, they maintain security of lives and property, they implement policies. So these are political um, activities. These are related to politics, okay? So the answer to this question is definitely option C, a political organization. Question 22. France introduced the policy of assimilation in our colonies primarily to Dash. Option A, teach them the art of leadership. Option B, change their way of life. Option C, give them a sound education. Option D, discourage them from ritual killings. The answer to this question is definitely option B, change their way of life. So when French colonized the African countries, what they wanted to do was to change their way of life with the introduction of the policy of assimilation. They wanted to change the African culture. They believed the African culture was inferior, was barbaric, was retarded, and so they felt the French culture was much more superior and they wanted to change Africans' way of life, the African way of life. So the answer to this question is definitely option B, change their way of life. Question 23. The foremost British trading company on the West African coast was Dash. The answer to this question is the United African Company. Okay, so this was a British company that traded in West Africa and it was formed in 1879. Okay, but later it was changed to National African Company and then again it was changed to the Royal niger company okay so these names are people who took active roles in the company who were personnel who um, were involved in the company okay so the name is the foremost don't forget the foremost british trading company was united african company but then it was changed so option c is the best answer to this question question 24 which of these rulers resisted colonial rule and was deported to Calabar. The answer to this question is option B about Oboranwe Nubaisi. So we have option A, King Kosoko, option C, King Dosumu, option D, King Jaja. Option B is the final answer to this question about Oboranwe Nubaisi resisted colonial rule. He maintained his independence even with the British pressure. You know, he was able to seal off British commercial invasion and colonial invasion. And in the midst of the disputes between um, over and where uh, and the Euro Europeans or the British, one of the British officers died, and because of that, it ignited the issue. And then uh, over and where was forced to surrender. And after he, he surrendered, he was he was exiled to Calabar, where he died. Okay. So the answer to this question is definitely option B about over and where. Question 25. One of the major weaknesses of the independence constitution is that it's dash. Option A, failed to provide the country with full sovereignty. Option B, gave full powers to the Supreme Court in Nigeria. Option C, gave total independence to Nigeria. Option D, empowered Britain to continue to rule. Okay, so the answer to this question is option A. Option A is considered to be the best answer to this question. If you all can remember the independence constitution, that is the constitution of 1960 where we had our first prime minister which was Abubakar Tafawa Badewa and he was the prime minister right the head of government but then the queen of England was still the head of state so he didn't give full sovereignty to Nigeria as opposed to the name of the constitution in services independence 
um, constitution, okay? So he didn't give full sovereignty and so the option to this question is option A, fail to provide the country with full sovereignty. Question 26, the first law making body in Nigeria after our amalgamation was that? Option A, Nigeria Council, Option B, Legislative Council, Option C, National Assembly, Option D, Regional Assembly. The answer to this question is definitely Option A, Nigeria Council. Okay, so after the amalgamation, which that is 1914, 1914 was when the amalgamation took place by Lord Lugard, the amalgamation of the Northern and the Southern Protectorate, right? So presently, what we use is the National Assembly, but after amalgamation, what was then called the law making body was the Nigerian Council. So option A is the final answer to this question. Question 37. The designation of ministers as chief executive and accounting officers was recommended by a commission headed by Dash. The answer to this question is Dutton Phillips. Okay, so the Dutton Phillips Commission 1985 was a commission that made an attempt to uh, reform the civil service in which happened in the year 1988. Okay, so as part of the recommendation by Dutton Phillips, who added the commission itself, was that the ministers should be regarded as chief executive and accounting officer as opposed to the permanent secretary that used to be in existence. So the ministers were now regarded as chief executive officers and accounting officers. Okay, so the answer to this question is option D, Dutton Phillips. Question 28. A major shortcoming of the ombudsman is that option A, lack of adequate resources, option B, its inability to restrain bureaucratic Exercise option C, lack of clear court mandate. Option D, lack of executive power to enforce decisions. The answer to this question is option D. Now, first, what is an ombudsman? An ombudsman is an official who investigates complaints made by citizens against businesses or public enterprises or officials. Okay, so one of their shortcomings is that they cannot make, they don't have the power to make decisions. So they investigate the complaints, but they do, they do not have the power to enforce decision or make decisions. So the answer to this question is option D, lack of executive power to enforce decisions. Question 29, one of the strong points of the multi-party system in Nigeria's fourth republic is that option A, the provision for a bicameral legislature, option B, government interference, option C, wider political participation, option D, wider anti-democracy campaign. So the best answer to this question is option C, wider political participation, okay? So a multi-party system is one that recognizes more than two political parties, okay? There are more than two legal political parties in the country. So one of the strong points is that it enhances a wider political participation. So the scope of political participation and education, political education is widened to reach a lot of people. Okay, So a lot of people are involved in politics, they want to be voted for and they also want to vote. Okay, So it is democratic in nature. Okay, So option C is the final answer to this question. Question 30. In which of the following is the ceremonial and executive powers fused? So what do we mean by fuse? They are combined, okay? So option A, presidential system of government. This is the answer to the question because in the presidential system of government, the head of the state is the same as head of government, okay? So let's take a look at option B, federal system of government. We know that there's a constitutional division of powers among the three styles of government, which is the federal, the state, and the local government, right? Then option C, we know that the head of state is different from the head of government, okay? So the unitary system of government is powers are in the hands of a single person, right? So the answer to this question is definitely option A, presidential system of government. Don't forget you can take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT pass questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website. There you are asked to download the My School mobile app for your Android phones and the My School software for your computers and laptops. Please go ahead and download and start practicing these questions for your upcoming examination. Now moving on to question 31. A major contentious issue confronting the Nigerian federalism is dash A, poverty, option B, healthcare delivery, option C, education, option D, revenue allocation. 
Now, when we think of Nigerian federalism, we think of the three tiers of government, the federal, the state, and the local government. Now, one of the major issues is finding an acceptable formula to share revenue. Okay, revenue allocation has always been a major challenge in Nigerian federalism. How do we share this money? What's the yardstick to determine, oh, the amount of money that should go to a particular state as opposed to other states, okay? So the answer to this question is definitely option D, revenue allocation. I believe you're enjoying this content. If yes, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 32, the main purpose of establishing public enterprise in Nigeria is to dash. Option A, increase government revenue. Option B, enrich the title. Option C, provide essential services. Option D, compete with the private sector. The answer to this question is definitely option C, provide essential services. The public enterprise is an enterprise, the corporation is a business owned by the state or government and is controlled through public authority. An example is PHCN, which is Power Holding Company of Nigeria. We also have NRC, Nigeria Railway Corporation, and so on and so forth. So these are examples of public enterprises that essentially provide services. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C. Question 33, parastatals are established to dash. Option A, enhance entrepreneurial skills. Option B, expand business transactions. Option C, maximize government profit. Option D, render social services. The answer to this question is render social services. What are parastatals? Parastatals are business organizations that are owned by the country's government. So it's the government that owns these com companies. For example, we have the Educational Resource Centers, we have CAC, which is Corporate Affairs Commission, okay? So these are examples of parastatals. So they render social services. Option D is the final answer to this question. Question 34. The general purpose committee of the local government is DASH. Option A, cabinet of the local government. Option B, body responsible for supervising self-help projects. Option C, local government public relations unit. Option D, body for awarding contracts. The answer to this question is option A, the general purpose committee of the local government is the cabinet of the local government. And this cabinet is regarded as the political leadership of the local government. And what is their function? What do they do? They advise the council on policies in matter. They also implement the council's policy. Okay, so the answer to this question is option A, cabinet of the local government. Question 35. The highest organ of the state during Babangida's regime was the DASH. Option A, provincial ruling council. Option B, Ham forces ruling council. Option C, supreme military council. Option D, federal executive council. The answer to this question is option B, Armed Forces Ruling Council. So this council was introduced by Ibrahim Babangida and it replaced the existing body which was Supreme Military Council in 1985. So the answer is definitely option B, Armed Forces Ruling Council. Question 36, Decree 34 of 1966 was an unacceptable to many Nigerians because it was Dash. Option A is seen as an instrument of impoverishment. Option B promulgated without consultation with the people. Option C perceived to abolish the federal system. Option D considered as alien. So the answer to this question is option C perceived to abolish the federal system. Now the decree 34 of 1966 was promulgated by Agui Ronsi and it was to discard the federal system and replace it with the unitary system of government. He did this because he felt it was a way to discourage um, tribalism, to discourage tribalistic um, loyalties and tribalistic consci consciousness okay, among the people. So the answer to this question is definitely option C, perceived to abolish the federal system. Question 37. Nigeria broke diplomatic relations with France in 1961 because... Okay, so the answer to this question is option A, France atomic test in the Sahara Desert. So France tested an atomic bomb in Sahara Desert, and this was injurious to Nigeria and to other African states. And so 
Nigerians did not hesitate to break diplomatic relations with France. So option A is the final answer to this question. Question 38. An attribute that Nigeria shares with most non-aligned countries is option A, the state of our economy, option B, a large population, option C, a heterogeneous population, option D, a large size. Okay, so Nigeria, just as other African countries, have the same state of economy, which is a poor economic development, and so they have to rely heavily on other countries, okay, to assist in terms of technology importation. So Nigeria would rely heavily on other countries for investments too, okay? So the state of our economy is one attribute that Nigerians share with other non-aligned countries. So the answer is definitely option A. Question 39. Nigeria spearheaded the formation of ECOWAS during the regime of Dash. A. Olusheg Mabasajo. B. Muritala Mohamed. Option C. Yakubu Gowan. Option D. Ibrahim Babangida. The answer to this question is definitely Yakubu Gowan. So when we think of Economic Community of West African States, we attribute it to Yakubu Gowan. He spearheaded it alongside with the Togo president, which is um, Eyadima. So the answer to this question is option C, Yakubu Gowan. Question 40. Nigeria was classified as a frontline state for Dash. Option A, participated in the peacekeeping in the Congo. Option B, spearheading the formation of African Union. Option C, supporting the liberation effort in Southern Africa. Option D, helping to end the crisis in Liberia. The answer to this question is option D, helping to end the crisis in Liberia. As far as the crisis in Liberia is concerned, Nigeria was at the forefront in helping to resolve the crisis, in helping to end the crisis in Liberia. So the answer to this question is definitely option D. Question 41. The prominent role Nigerian played in the United Nations in the 70s and R dash. The answer to this question is permanent representation at the United Nations. So Nigeria played a significant role in the establishment of United Nations Special Committee against the apartheid policy in South Africa. So Nigeria took the leading role in um, promoting black liberation movements in South Africa. So the answer to this question is definitely option B. Question 42. The end of Nigeria's foreign mission in a Commonwealth nation is known as the answer to this question is A, I Commissioner. So that is what they are called. That is their title. The title for this is I Commissioner. Option A is the final answer to this question. Question 43. One of the major functions of the authority of head of state and government of ECOWAS is DASH. The answer to this question is option C, appointing the executive secretary. Among several others, which we have um, decision making, approval of treaties, we also have appointing the executive secretary. So option C is the final answer to this question. Do you have questions you would like to ask? You can go ahead and ask your questions by using the link provided in the description below. Please click on this link. It takes you to the MySchool website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 44, the tenure of non-permanent members of the Security Council is DASH. The answer to this question is option C, two years. So the Security Council is made up of 15 members. We have uh, five permanent members and 10 um, non-permanent members. So the 10 non-permanent members are elected for a two-year tenure. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C, two years. Do you have better explanation solutions or steps to any of those questions, please feel free to share this with us in the case in the comment section. You tell us the question and the solutions you would like to share. Question 45. The Secretary General of the United Nations is appointed by the DASH. The answer to this question is C. General Assembly on the recommendation of the Security Council. So the General Assembly and the Security Council work hand in hand, but the General Assembly appoints on the recommendation of the Security Council. Do not forget that United Nations is also called UNO, United Nations Organization, and they have five organs, right? Five organs which include General Assembly, Security Council, we have Economic and Social Council, we have International Court of Justice, and lastly we have Sectarians, okay? So General Assembly and Security Council are involved, okay? So option C is the final answer to this question. Question 46. The approval of treaties and agreements of the Economic Committee of West African States is the responsibility of the DASH. The answer to this question is the assembly of head of state and government. So one of their functions is to 
approve treaties and agreements, they also do decision making and so on and so forth. So the answer to this question is option D. We've come to the end of this tutorial. I believe it was impactful. Thank you for joining us. Do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.